A CBS 11 I team investigation found dozens of Texas school districts failing to protect your child's personal information. This is a growing number of cyber attacks on schools is exposing a troubling vulnerability. Investigative reporter Brian New looks at the mounting costs and the risks of not being prepared. And then we want to set it equal to zero so that way the computer knows it's a number. It's a lesson the kids at the iCode summer camp in South Lake have aced. Staying safe online is one of the most important things that you can do. But what about their schools? Have they passed the test? Do you think your school is prepared? Honestly, I don't. <laughs> it's very easy for people to hack schools. A CBS 11 I team investigation found in the past two years, at least 67 school districts in Texas have suffered a cybersecurity breach. We don't want any of our data getting out. Last fall, Arlington ISD says a hacker used a substitute teacher's credentials to access the personal information of more than 2,000 students. We start tracing down the system. The district superintendent of technology says the hacker turned out to be a student. I suppose that's. Uh, that, that makes us feel a little better that we've that we're not um, that there's not large gaps that um, countries could exploit. But that's not the case for many schools. A growing number of attacks are coming from overseas. In the past two years, 27 school districts have been hit with ransomware, a type of malicious software that locks up computers until a payment is made. One district shared the demand message that popped up on their computers. It read, "All your files." Have been encrypted. We were pretty sure it came from Russia. Two years ago, Paris ISD was hit with a ransomware attack. That same day, less than five miles away, North Lamar ISD was also hit. A couple weeks later, it was Rockwall ISD along with other districts. We were fortunate that we had multiple copies of our backups. Paris ISD's technology director says they were lucky as they disconnected their computers before the attack had reached all their backup systems. But not every district has been so fortunate. Many attacks encrypted backup systems, while other districts simply did not have a backup. Our investigation also found there are likely far more of these attacks than we know about. Mesquite ISD and Fort Worth ISD never reported their ransomware attacks to the Texas Education Agency. And according to Texas law, they don't have to, as long as there was no evidence that student personal information was stolen. Cybersecurity expert Ben Singleton says that needs to change. If you don't disclose that information, we don't know about the attack. And we in the cybersecurity industry rely on these attacks to discover how they're getting in. Singleton says cyber criminals like to target school computer systems because they house thousands of valuable child identities. The other reason is because schools pay. Sheldon ISD in the Houston area paid more than $200,000 in ransom. Well, Judson ISD said it had no choice but to pay more than a half million dollars or risk having sensitive information published. Meanwhile, other districts like Lancaster ISD have declined to say if they paid a ransom. And once you show the world that you're a soft target who's willing to pay, more schools are going to get hit because of it. But even when schools don't pay a ransom, these attacks are often costly. According to records obtained by the I-Team, Fort Worth ISD paid an IT company $94,000 last year to help the district recover from a ransomware attack. Experts say until school districts invest in cybersecurity, these attacks will continue. So our condition is if the user enters negative one. And all you have to do is ask one of these kids to know what that means. My advice is to keep the information safe. Good advice. Now, through local and state records, we were able to identify nearly 70 school districts all across the state that have suffered a cybersecurity breach in the past two years. Brooke, up on our website right now, cbsdfw.com, you can check out this interactive map that we've made that has the information we uncovered about each of these cases. Yeah. So, Brian, did you get any sense that some of the districts don't want to talk about it because they're worried if they do, it could eventually lead to more attacks? I did get that sense from some, but cybersecurity experts say it doesn't work like that. These cyber criminals already know that school districts are a vulnerable target, and it's not like they're just targeting a single school district. 
They're sending out these phishing emails to hundreds of districts at a time. And what experts say is so frustrating is that they'll see the same attack, that same phishing email work time and time again because some schools are not reporting them to warn others about them. Any chance that that could change? Do you see that changing? So perhaps starting next month, September 1st, the Texas Education Agency will anonymously be sharing reports with schools about cyber attacks that they are made aware of. Now, again, this still hinges on schools admitting and reporting attacks that they have. Good information, Brian New. Thank you so much for all of that. And if you have a situation that you would like the I-Team to investigate, be sure to send them an email. You can reach them at iteam at ktvt.com.